You can take photos of anybody and recreate them in any style using ChatGPT's new image generator. I took portraits of people and recreated them in the Studio Ghibli style, 3D Pixar animations, and pretty much any other style you can think of. And there's so much more that you can do, including combining different people and objects together, expanding images, and making them larger. You can also add multiple different characters into the same image. So I've got this portrait of this woman here. Let's see how to change it to a different art style. Inside ChatGPT, have the GPT-40 version selected. Then I'll upload the photo of the woman and type in the prompt. Recreate this in the style of Studio Ghibli. You can put a different art style here. Then the woman's appearance, the composition, colors, and vibe is similar, very detailed. It takes a bit to render, but once it's finished, the results are really impressive. I do wish that her eyes were looking up a bit, like in the original picture but I'll show you how to change that in a second. The hairstyle even bends the same way around this clump right here. The background is also the same. Now let's fix our eyes so that they're looking upwards. Click on the picture and we can edit the results inside using this prompt bar below. So I'll make her eyes look slightly upwards. And there it is in the style of Studio Ghibli with her eyes looking up. You can use this same exact process to convert your portraits into any other art style. Here I made one of a 3D Pixar style. Again, it matches the features of the original picture super closely. The eye colors, the shape of the face, everything looks pretty similar. I tried one for Dr. Seuss. This one didn't match as closely. The man is actually facing in the wrong direction in the chair inside of the GPT generated image. So it looks like the results do depend on the art style a little bit. Maybe this one was harder to recreate. We can also combine characters with different objects inside of the images. So right here, I've got an original picture of the girl. And also this guitar that's covered with plants. It's a really unique looking one. I'll upload both of them into ChatGPT and Prompt 4. Create an image in the style Studio Ghibli. The woman with red hair playing the wooden guitar covered with plants. Now, the details on the wooden guitar aren't going to be exactly correct if you look closely. GPT won't be able to copy every single little detail over, but the overall idea is correct. You might have also noticed that these are all square or tall vertical images. If you want a wide horizontal image or a landscape image, you need to specifically tell that to ChatGPT. So I've got this pair of character illustrations I've uploaded of this uh, woman and the man. And let's prompt, create a comic panel with a blue woman and a man wearing the black coat are confronting each other aggressively. Make it a horizontal landscape image. If you specifically ask for the output to be a landscape image like I did right here, then it'll be able to give you a wide image. Another really powerful feature in this image generator is you can expand images. I took this drawing of a giraffe and made it wider and added in a zebra. So to do that, just upload the drawing of the giraffe and then in the prompt, expand this drawing to include a zebra wearing a suit. Keep the same art style make it a horizontal landscape image. Like I said before, if you look super closely, the exact details aren't going to be exactly the same. But depending on what you need, this will work fine. It also does add text to pictures. I took this original image right here and asked ChatGPT to turn it into a movie poster with the text, The Jellyfish Dilemma. And also adding some more jellyfish floating around. And yeah, I think it looks really, really cool. By the way, if you want to try stylizing more popular IP like Star Wars and turn it into a Studio Ghibli anime, I did find myself getting censored by ChatGPT. Unfortunately, it seems like it doesn't work on stuff that's heavily protected, at least not for Star Wars. Now, if you want to learn how to take your images and turn them into amazing AI videos, go watch this tutorial right here.